blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. Father, we give you praise. I give you glory for your faithfulness, for your kindness, love, and grace. I say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the lives of your sons, your daughters, your servants, your prophet, teachers, apostles, evangelists, pastors that are watching me right now. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, in this class, in this teaching, I ask you to release your grace upon everyone that is listening to the sound of my voice now. Quicken their mortal bodies, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I ask that the grace of revelation, the grace of visions, the grace of prophecy be released upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. So um, it has been a while I came live to do um, a teaching on the prophetic because um, I've become very busy these days and uh, also students uh, when you listen to a teaching and you have a question don't send your question to my email send your question right at the comment section so that I can see it faster and reply to it if you send it to my email uh, it may take time for me to open it and sometimes I even forget there are a lot of questions that have been asked, but I have not attended to them because some of the emails, I didn't see them. Some of the messages, I forgot about it. So, um, just send your questions to the comment section of any of the videos you are watching. And for those of you that are watching for the first time, um, you may want to subscribe to the channel and go back and follow all the teachings from the beginning. Follow them so that you will be able to grow effectively and the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Very quickly, I want to talk on the origin of the prophetic. The origin of the prophetic. Now, if you look at the book of Genesis, the prophetic started from the book of Genesis when man was created. The moment Adam was created, he carried the ability to hear God in him. And I want you to understand something. That man was created on the basis of God's image and God's likeness. And one of the likeness of God is the ability to see and communicate in the spirit. The ability to see and communicate in the spirit. And so when he said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness, he's saying, let's also make a man that we have the same ability to see in the spirit, to see it on, in the unseen realm. So when man was created, he was seen in that realm. Why? Because the first time when man was created, man was operating from the spirit realm. All right? It was the spirit realm he was operating with first. Unlike now, when a child is born, he operates first from the flesh. When man was first created, he operated first from the spirit. So he could hear God and he could he could see in the spirit. So now the first thing I want you to understand is the first the origin which is which i just told you now that man was created with the ability to see in the spirit and to hear the voice of god so every man whether be it a teacher a pastor an evangelist an apostle a prophet whichever dimension you are or you don't even or you don't even have a calling directly just a steward or so every man has a wiring inside of him an ability inside of him to hear the voice of god that is the first thing i want you to understand every man has the ability inside of him to hear the voice of god so now the ability is in you the bible said jesus christ speaking said now god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit all right so now god is a spirit them that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit and it is in the spirit realm you get to see the unseen realm but one thing I want, you to un I want you to understand right now is the fact that it is the ability to see and hear God that is already in man that makes it possible for him to begin to see after impartation, after prayers. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, when the spirit of prophecy comes upon a man, he's only activating the ability that is already locked up inside the man. So, there are different ways man can receive impartation 
that we that we receive impartation that we release the spirit of prophecy into him that we activate that ability to hear God and see the spirit in him one of the ways is listening to teachings grace filled teachings grace filled teachings all right i told you Jesus Christ speaking he said while i speak the spirit while he speak the spirit entered into me and quicken my mortal bodies and he said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. When you listen to words that are loaded with spirit and life, it steers you up in the spirit. It, it, it steers you up to begin to see in that frequency. There are a lot of people that by watching one or two of the teachings, they got activated into the prophet without prayers, without contacting me. Why? Because there is a grace, a transference that happens, an impartation that happens as you listen to me. As you are listening, there is an impartation going on. So you imp impartation by word, grace few word, impartation by um, laying of hands. Uh, Paul the Apostle lay hands on those people. He said, have you received the Holy Ghost? Yeah, they said they have not. He laid hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost and they prophesied at the same time. Impartation by hands, impartation by your seed. All right, it's another form of impartation. Impartation by service. All right, it's another form of impartation. There are different forms of impartation. And also, even the gift of prophecy cannot operate except the ability of God in the man is there. So every man has that ability first. It's just like, for instance, you are given, um, I want to look for something. Um, for instance, you are given something like uh, maybe a washing machine as a gift, a washing machine, and you don't have power supply in your house. That washing machine will be useless. If you don't have power supply in your house and you have given a washing machine that has to use um, power, the washing machine will be useless. The same way, some persons are imparted with the gift, imparted with the gift, but if that ability of God inside of you is dead, is dead, is not functional at all, again, then the gift being imparted on you cannot function. Paul the Apostle says, stay of the gift that has been imparted into you by the laying on of hands. So that ability that is already inside of you is the first key that may, gives you the access to use the gift which has been given to you. So when an impartation comes upon you, there is also a place of staring from inside of you. All right? You have to believe that you have received. I get what I'm saying. Jesus Christ said, For with the heart man believe, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. All right? That principle applies to everything in the kingdom. Until you believe what you carry, what you carry cannot work for you. Until you believe what you have received, you cannot operate in the magnitude of what has been released upon you. You have to believe it. All right? You have to believe it. God is not going to come and believe on your behalf. Even Jesus, when you want to pray for when you want to pray for anybody, we ask the person, do you believe? Do you believe? Because there is an to an extent that God will not operate in you until you believe. All right? So now, in as much as you want to hear the voice of God, God is more willing to speak to you. The only thing is, you have to... Now, now I told you that when the gift comes upon you, and the ability in you is dead, you will not still be able to prophesy. Now, how do you stay up that ability that is in you? You have to be in the spirit. Now, God is a spirit. And when God gave that likeness to man, that likeness of seeing in the spirit and hearing him, that likeness can only be assessed in the spirit because the origin started from the spirit. When man was created, he started operating from the spirit. I get what I'm saying now. So you have to steer your spirit. Steer up your spirit. Worship God. Pray in the spirit. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaker not unto men, but unto God, how be it in the spirit is speaker mystery. All right? And the book of Jude 20 said, For you edify yourself, building up yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. As you build up yourself to that standard, you plug in the power and you begin to manifest it. All right? So the Lord is going to help you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray for you that grace will speak for you. I pray for you that the anointing of God will come upon you and you shall prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare every veil on your eyes removed in the name of Jesus. So like I said, I, I would just want to chip in one other thing before I will round up this service, which is there are people who, when they get born again, they started seeing in the spirit. But what they are seeing is not accurate because they still need an impartation for the correction of vision. They need an impartation for the correction of vision. Jesus Christ prayed for a man one day, and the man said, I see men like trees. All right? There need to be correction of vision. Correction of vision. And it happens by impartation, by following grace field word and the rest like I mentioned before. And as you do that, you are going to see that you begin to grow. You begin to grow. Increase begin to come to you. I pray for you that grace will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything working against the grace of God upon your life, I cancel it now. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is a pastor. You are going to be watching this teaching. I saw in the realm of the spirit, I see, I saw you in a place like, at least like Ghana. You were prophesying before. And all of a sudden, the prophetic ceased totally. You can't see again. You are not seen at all again. And doubt has filled your heart. The Lord said I should tell you is restoring you back into the prophetic. I release it back in the name of Jesus. I release grace upon you wherever you are watching from. Grace will speak for you. The oil of God will come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. And so you, for those of you watching for the first time, um, try subscribe to the channel and also follow the teachings. Go back to the first video. There are a lot of things you need to learn about the prophetic. And for those of you that have learned it before, you have forgotten the steps. Go back and rewatch so that you can grow faster in it. And also I want to tell you that always stay connected. Always stay connected. Always stay connected. I know what I'm talking about. All right. Always stay connected. The prophetic can come and reduce. They, it's just like a time came, the apostles, they have to go and pray again and say, Father, fill us that we may speak your word with boldness. And the Bible said they were refilled again. The anointing can go up, it can reduce. So always stay connected to grace and you are going to increase in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that grace will speak for you. I pray for you that the oil of God will speak upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare blessings upon you. I declare favor upon you in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. If you want to contact me, you can reach me through any of the means. And um, for those of you that want to support, send your seed, your offerings. You can do that as well. Um, the 